Now, before I begin, let me just say I don't mean to offend anyone who is a fan of Beats by Dr. Dre. Thankfully, the one person who I was worried about offending is not here right now. So that being said, picture in your head the typical brand name loving consumers. We've all seen people like these. No shame if you are one. In one hand, they have a nice tall Starbucks Frappuccino, maybe even a Venti or a Trenta. In the other, they are gazing longingly at their iPhone. But they are also listening to music. But not with those cheap little Apple earbuds, no. Instead, it is Beats by Dr. Dre. Let me tell you all, though, why Beats headphones are simply products driven by the brand name behind them, as opposed to the quality of their sound and construction. First of all, let's address the fact that the company has a very big name attached to it. I'm sure everyone here knows who Dr. Dre is. He is not a real doctor. I thought he was at first, but that's okay. <laughs> but he is a very prominent figure in the music industry. He's given rise to many artists, and of course he has done his own things. And he started beats with Jimmy Iovine. But the, the, little B, the little B on the side of each headphone that he creates is probably the most valuable part of the headphones in all the materials that is. According to Avery Louie, a prototype engineer at Bolt, which is a hardware and software tactical venturing firm, the estimated bill of materials for the $199 pair of Beats headphones is $20.18. Yes, this particular pair of headphones is marked up nearly $180. Given you need to account for labor and advertising, which is a huge part of Beats. But that still seems a bit excessive to me. However, that brings me to my next point. And that is, advertising and celebrity endorsements are the main driving force behind the appeal of Beats. What basketball fan wouldn't want to listen to the music that using the same headphones that LeBron James is wearing? Or what aspiring tennis player wouldn't want to be seen with the same audio gear as Serena Williams? And Kendrick Lamar is a famous rapper, so if he wears Beats, that must count for something, right? And what little monster wouldn't want to wear, hear the same songs the same way that Lady Gaga does? These are just a few examples of the many celebrities who endorse Beats or have done commercials for them. Now you all may be wondering, well surely they don't just wear them because they get paid to, right? They must sound pretty good too. Well, as the Fat Controller, or Sir Topham Hat, and Tom's the Tank to would say, you are wrong. Of course, everyone has their own opinion and personal preference, but many reviewers on websites that sell the product say that while these headphones focus on bass, the actual quality of their bass is muddy, which means loud but poor quality. Allow me to compare the Beats Solo HD, which of course were $199 brand new, to the Sennheiser HD 558s, which were $180 brand new. According to headphones.specout.com, the Beats Solo HDs have a frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz, while the Sennheiser HD 558s have a range of 15 Hz to 28 kHz. This simply means that you'll hear a broader range of sound pitches with the Sennheisers. Next, let's compare the weight of these two products. Both of them weigh 260 grams, but there are a few things to note about this. One, the Beats adds unnecessary metal weights to their headphones so that they feel sturdier, you know, you think heavier things, more quality. And the Beats headphones are on-ear, meaning that they are meant to fit over just your ear, while the Sennheisers are over-ear, which means they surround your entire ear. Generally, over-ear headphones are heavier, so the Beats headphones here are excessively heavy. And according to spec out again, the Beats smart rating was calculated to be 62, while the Sennheiser smart rating was calculated to be 90. And the smart rating is their way of helping you find the best headphones at a glance. But my final point that I would like to make is that despite all the celebrity endorsements and the subpar audio quality, you would think the good doctor, Dr. Dre himself, would at least use his own headphones in the studio. But once again, you are wrong. There is a famous picture on the internet of Dr. Dre in the, in the recording studio standing next to Kendrick Lamar wearing a pair of Audio-Technica headphones. But can you blame him? Time Magazine did an online ranking of best headphone brands and Beats was ranked number 17 out of 18. And eBay did their own ranking based on quality and, and Beats was not even listed. Of course, Sennheiser was number one. But that is all for that, so in conclusion, I would like to remind everyone that Beats by Dr. Dre might be an aesthetically appealing product, depending on who you ask, and are endorsed by many celebrities. But the hefty price tag that they come with is mainly for the little B on the side of the cup, and not the actual quality of the product itself.
Thank you. All right, let me start with the stuff that I think works pretty well. I think in the body of the speech, you've got some excellent information. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of factual data that you cite when you do the comparison of the two uh, different brands of headphones. You've got some statistical information when you were talking about the costs of the headphones in terms of uh, production versus what they sell for, and uh, the rating scale that are being used by the authorities in evaluating the quality. So you've got some nice information in regard to those sorts of things. You also got some good examples of the importance of the celebrities that are endorsing those products. When you mentioned uh, the advertising costs, I think that that, you know, wire beats, you know, $200. That's because you got to pay Lady Gaga something. You know, she doesn't work for nothing. Uh, you know, Serena's got to get her change. Uh, you know, um, Lamar Kendrick and all those folks, they got to get the... No? Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I know that. I, didn't, I don't know it very well, but I knew that. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. The Lamar Kendrick. Well, you know, six of one, half a dozen the other. That guy's running around with two last names. That's just not fair. Somebody out there has to make do without a last name because he got in line and took a second one. I don't understand. You know. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, and, 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 I, and I like the quotes that you had from the review sites that talked about the muddy base. And like I said, you had the tech information about the headphones. So all that's very good. I love the language that you're using in the speech to, to make the transitions, the clever little descriptive terms, you know, the, the fun way that it's written, uh, you, know, the, you know, all the little monsters want to listen to, you know, Lady Gaga, you know, through that kind of thing. I, I appreciated that. I thought that that made an extra effort to make the speech unique. So there's a lot of stuff in here that's good. Now, there are a couple of things that are problematic. You, you've got, I think people generally know what it is you're trying to accomplish, but if I had to say what your proposition was, I would be struggling, you know, because I don't think I've got that single point that I can say, well, I would agree with that particular point. I, I can agree with a lot of the things that you said, but is that the point that I'm crossing the line on and, and saying yes to or no to? That needs to be a lot clearer. In the body of the speech, it's organized. I can hear that you were structuring to different points, but none of the points use declarative sentences to structure the speech. They just move to different topic areas that you're talking about, and I think you need to have your claims in there also. So it's the propositions and the claims that need the most work in the speech, which is, of course, the thing that we worked on the most getting ready for the speeches. So that, that's a little frustrating to me because there's so much in the speech that I liked that the basic thing that ought to be the clearest thing in the speech is the thing that is the needs the most work. Um, all right, and, and then the presentations I think very effective too. All right, thank you.